Five different looks in my looks all kill. 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 Hey boo, hey. This video is in collaboration with It's Your Girl Brie as well as Marty B Living. Us ladies wanted to bring to you guys some great summer spring wigs from Amazon. So once you're done showing this video some love, be sure to show there some love as well. Their links will be in the description box below. I figured the easiest way would be for you to watch me style these units. So here we go. I love pixie cuts. When you're dealing with short cuts, you will need three essentials. Yep, those right there. That's a wide tooth comb, a razor comb, and shear scissors. Now here's a few ways to style her if you're not comfortable with cutting. Okay, so we got the Tony Braxton look. How many ways I love you. Let me count away. I love me some Tony, girl. Oh, and then I got the mushroom look. Looking like Fantasia and Riri. Yes. Mm. Oh, uh-uh. What that is. Uh-uh. Do better, sis. Do better. Okay, I'm coming through. Okay, okay. We got the Regina King look. Love that. Okay, it's time to bring sister life. So I'm gonna take my shearing scissors and I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to shear out the top portion of this wig. Using the shearing scissors instead of regular scissors will prevent removal of too much hair. So it, it takes away just enough. Using those shearing scissors will also eliminate that bulky look at the top, at the front of the wig. Now I'm going in with my razor comb and I'm just trying to clean up the edges, frame my face. Before you get real scissor happy boo, always remember that you can cut off but you can't add back on. So I say always cut off less and then graduate to cutting off more. Cause once that hair gone, you can't put it back. Now I'm taking my razor comb and I'm just shaving down the back, shaving down the sides. This is to just allow it to melt basically. Now this particular unit is a human hair unit so you will need some type of mousse to tame or some people use water to just tame the flyaways. So this is the final look boo, what you think? Okay, we on to the next, honey. Don't get me started with this wig here. This unit really gave me auntie from the Usher Boy Committee vibes, girl. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Now, don't get me wrong. The curls are popping. And, you know, the unit is nice. It's just a little cute for somebody else. Sus in the picture wore it real well. But this unit just not for me, boo. I could have went in and did a little bit more cutting, but I already knew she was going back. So, I just kept it minimum. This unit does remind me of the wig Nuna that was real big on the YT years ago. Your girl love her some Betty Boot, but I ain't trying to look like her. Okay, so here's a profile of this unit. This is definitely one of them units you gotta dress up with accessories. Ta-da! Look what some sunglasses and a hat can do. But tell me why I forgot to take the sticker off. <laughs> it's all right, your girl was still feeling herself. Yes, sis. I just gave this wig CPR and I done bought her ass to life. See, in this video, I tried to be a little cute and wore them long eyelashes, sis. I don't see how y'all do it. Them 20, 25 millimeter lashes, look. Kept me girl, it kept on pressing against the glasses. This is the final look. On to the next. Okay, so you can't have summer and spring without having a bob style. I think they are one of the easiest styles to manage and not as hot. You don't need all that 30, 40 inch hair down your back, especially in the summertime. Been done caught a whole heat stroke just from playing around with all that hair. This unit took me straight back to the 90s, gave me so much Aaliyah vibes. The key to wearing a wig is making sure it look as natural as possible. Everybody don't need to know you're wearing a wig. So take some powder or concealer of your color and go in that part and add some. 
I also noticed that my part was not as clean as I liked, so I went in and took out some of those hairs. You see how natural that looks? Yes, I don't know which twin that is, but I'm twinning with the hairstyle. And here's the final look. What you think, boo? I think I look real childish. Real, <laughs> real young looking. On to the next. <laughs> so I started off by going ahead and adding the concealer to this wig just to make it look a little bit more natural looking. This is another one of them YouTube popular units from years ago. Chasty, comment below if you remember this unit. As I mentioned before, you can never go wrong with a bald wig. Curly, straight, wavy. I noticed a lot of celebrities like to wear their hair in the wavy bobs. Taraji, Sierra, Viola, Megan, just to name a few. I figured this unit would look a little bit better if I added some edges to it or some baby hairs, but from my own. So I went up in there and swooped me a little baby hair around the edges. Girl, I got real fancy on you. I done added me some red colored eyeshadow to my eyebrows just so it can match in with the wine ombre effect of this wig. Honey, this is where I started feeling myself. <laughs> the bag is perfectly cut. I ain't have to do nothing extra. And here's the final look. What you think, boo? On to the next. So, honey, this is definitely one of them wigs that you have to play in or play with and customize it. This curl pattern reminds me of Jerry Curl. But for some reason, initially, I was getting Ronald McDonald vibes, minus the color. In the end, it came out looking real natural looking, but you definitely gonna have to manipulate them curls. Take them apart, piece by piece. In my opinion, the bigger the better when it came to this unit. So tease it, boo, tease it. So at this point, I started framing the face, cutting the bang area and so forth. Now, don't this unit give you a little Diana Ross and Shaka Khan vibes and a little Cynthia Bailey too? I wish I could have got her in like an ombre color. And this is the final look. We done unfortunately came to the end of the road of this video, but if you want more like so, subscribe to your girl. I want to thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, later.